turkey hunt. In three, two. Hey, hey, 545, and we're plus two. Say hey, Crank, raise your head up. I got two two knuckleheads and one son-in-law. We're headed to Tupelo to add one, uh, another son-in-law and another knucklehead. Walk a tape. What's up, dog? Nothing you ready to go turkey hunting in the cold, cold weather? Yes, sir. Bless your heart. All right, inventory. What'd y'all get? Lean out here and tell me what you're eating, Ben. Mm -hmm. Chocolate donut. Chocolate donut. donut. What'd you get? A dozen donut holes. I got a biscuit. And me and Walker splitting. Splitting donut, donut holes. Donut. What'd you get? A sausage biscuit with some donut holes. All right. We're gonna punch in. Where are we going? She looked at me like this. She put her hand on her hip and she just looked at me like that. There's the Kentucky State line. Oh, you want that roll? Yellow truck. Oh, I saw it right when you called it. Yes. Seven to four. Seven. Oh, no. No, I got classy. Yellow car. You already called that on the way. We called that on the way out. Maybe a snack while you're watching TV. Y'all need to pick out a couple of snacks. Whatever you want to put in the ice chest. <laughs> Do that again. Do that and show me. Much, much, much later. Yeah, it's kind of chilly out here. What's up? What's going on? Matt, good to meet you. What's your name, little man? You're Crank Man. You're the one I want to get out of the car. What's what did I, I met you at the NWTF, didn't I? Yes, sir. Yes. Well, <clears throat> as if we didn't have enough drama in the Cranky Chronicles, we have some more added drama. We just went and got their uh, youth permits for Cranky and his brother Matt and their cousin Walker. Everybody's legal. I got to reading in the rules and regs and it's illegal to turkey hunt in Illinois with a 410 and he's going to be crushed. Thank goodness Kent Woodrow up here had a, a little 20 gauge he rigged out for his daughter. Youth H&R 20 gauge with a red dot and an extra full turkey choke in it. We're fixing to go see and it's had the stock cut down. It's perfect. I mean, it's like divine intervention. But anyway, we're going to go shoot it and see what a light load will do with it. Because we had Cranky's little 410 dialed in with TSS loads. But anyway, you just, uh, you do what you got to do. I'm shot. That's a six. That's a two and three quarter six. So that's a pretty good pattern. Okay, we got that problem solved. That's a two and three quarter six shot. And the pattern's way better than I thought it would be. We just gotta convince Cranky that everything's cool. Well, we've been here about 45 minutes or an hour. And it is cold, cold. 29, 30 degrees, 10 mile an hour north wind, but it didn't snow. Uh, Cranky is uh, a little bit less enthused. We got him warmed up, but he's got Jason Miller's jacket on bottom and halfway on top, and he's using my jacket for a pillow, and he's out like a light, which ain't a bad thing, which means he ain't freezing cold, no teeth chattering. How cold are you? Cold. Huh? Cold. You know, I don't know what the turkeys do in Illinois when it's this cold, but it, at home it takes them a while, so... We have uh, posted up 
in a ground blind in a cut cornfield with a strut and jig and a hen. And uh, we just going to sit it out a while. Cranky's like, he's down with it. He's sacked out. Well, Cranky's up. Cranky, say hey. Say hey there, bud. Hey. It's still, well, this went up from 28 to 29 degrees. The good news is we think the sun may try to peep out, but we still hadn't seen a turkey or heard one. But Cranky's giving me 22 minutes. Did you say 22? 20. 20 minutes? He's giving me, it was 22, but he's giving us 20 minutes, and then we got to go find a pan, pancake. Okay. 20 minutes to find a turkey, or we're going to get pancakes and bacon. Is it pancakes and bacon, and that's it? This one. Well, we got a little bit of a dilemma. We got turkeys on both sides of the road. The blind, we left the blind down there and it's got all our stuff in it. And uh, so anyway, we got to make a decision. If we going to move over here to where these turkeys are, we got to go all the way back down there and get that stuff out of there. We left little Cranky's uh, shooting rest and left my tripod in there and both the decoys. So if we move over here, we got to wait till them turkeys are asleep in the pitch black and go get it. So, bit of a dilemma. We'll figure something out, but the Cranky Chronicles continues. My little white whale. <laughs> Plus it's supposed to be 26 in the AM. <laughs> Up there, you pick out either one and put right on his neck, you understand? 